All right, so let's get started by making my world famous jalapeno showstoppers. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our five jalapeno, and these are very, very, very hot. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use some latex gloves. Now I like to use latex gloves because I always think, well, hey, I don't want some strange dude's hands in my food. So I'm going to do that for somebody else. So that's what we're going to do is put on these gloves. Now what this is going to do is it's going to protect you from the dangerous Scoville units that are trapped inside of these jalapenos that can burn my eyes, irritate my skin, just basically make my life miserable. So what we're going to do, first thing first, is we're going to take this nice jalapeno and we're going to chop all the heads off these jalapenos. So now what I'm going to do is I have the jalapeno, I cut the head off, and now I'm going to slice them in half. And I'm going to be very careful when I slice them in half because I want them to be right down the middle. So that's going to be very important. So we're going to slice it right down the middle. Should have been a surgeon. Oh, I can smell them already. They smell delicious. We're just going to keep slicing them down the middle, nice and even. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab a spoon we're going to carefully scoop out the innards of this, okay? And I'm just going to throw the garbage right here on this uh, mat. You can put it in a bowl. You can throw it right in the trash. I'm just going to scoop this stuff out. A lot of the heat for the peppers is right in the seeds. So I have a sensitive stomach. So I'm going to try to make these a little less hot by getting every seed out. So let's take this, and we're going to take this, and we're going to toss it in some water. We're going to wash it out. Keep scooping them out, putting them in the water. Now this recipe will be good for uh, two people, two servings. I like to make a lot more sometimes, but today we're just doing it for two people. Now what we're going to do, we're just going to put our hands in the water and kind of swish it around a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these jalapenos, throw them right here, throw all of our trash away, get these hot peppers out of the way, as many as I can, the seeds. Wash my hands off. Now what we got to do is we got to pat these dry because when we go to put our breading on there, it will not stick if they are not dry. Oh, oh, there we go. Just pat them dry. Now we're gonna make our breading. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bran flakes, we're gonna take some pepper, some garlic powder, and now we'll just grab some Salt, which is always good. Now what we're going to want to do right now is we need to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. So I'm going to turn around and do that. All right, that's going. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the bran flakes, a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper, and a pinch of garlic powder. And we're going to put it into the food processor. And we're going to make it all ground up into very, very fine powder. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so now we're going to take a pinch of pepper. You know, maybe two, three. It's really personal preference at this point. Some salt. Now this is low sodium salt because I suffer from hereditary high blood pressure. So I have to. All right, some garlic powder. Just a little of that. Bing. Lock this down. All right, now. We process. That should do it. All right. Pull that out. Looks good. I'm satisfied with that. I'm going to throw that into this big giant bowl. Some of the pieces didn't get as fine as I wanted, so what I'm going to do is just grind that with my fingers like that. Take a look at this. Look at what I'm doing. Now I use bran flakes. You can use all bran. You can use tortilla chips. You can use whatever you want. I tried a ton of different things. The reason I went with bran flakes is because they're really high in fiber and it just makes the whole snack way more nutritious. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to clean up for a second and we're going to get back to make the inside filling with our yummy cream cheese and cheese and oh it's gonna be great all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna first take a half a cup 
of fat-free cream cheese. So I'm going to put that right in here. Now what I have here is I have some fat-free cheddar cheese. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cheddar cheese and dump it right in the bowl. And of course, get it everywhere. Now I'm going to take a little dash of salt, little dash of pepper, and just a little touch of garlic powder. There we go. What we did is I, I got a, just a regular baking tray. I covered it with tin foil because I don't like the hassle of cleaning up. You could just throw the tin foil away. I know that's not very eco-friendly, but I will reuse the, this uh, tin foil several times, I promise. All right, so spray it with some uh, fat-free cooking spray. Now this is great to use because it substitutes having to use oil or butter, and all you need is a chip, 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 and it's ready to go. Pan's all greased up. So what I've tried to do here is I've tried to set up an assembly line for myself so that once I get the filling done, all I have to do is do the peppers, and then I'll set it up, and blah, 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 put it in, and we'll be ready to go. So here we go. All right, so I'm going to take a fork. I'm going to just start to smush all this stuff together and make our little mix. All right. all right, now in this mix alone, by making this mix and using fat-free products, low sodium salt, we are already cutting out tons of fat, tons of sodium, tons of bad stuff that is just going to weigh you down, make you lethargic, and, you know, put weight on you. So that's one good thing. But the best thing about this is that we're baking it, not frying it. All right, so that's all together. We've got that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm setting up my assembly line. All right, now I've got a spoon, which I'm gonna use to stuff it. All right, now I've got a half a cup of egg substitute. You can get egg beaters or the generic ones that they sell at the store. Either one, it really doesn't matter. It's very low in calorie and no cholesterol. Okay, so we've got our wash. We're gonna call that our wash, and we need our bran flakes. All right, so now I'm ready to assembly line these. So I'm going to take my jalapeno popper. I'm going to take a little bit of the cream cheese filling. I'm just going to fill in the gaps, just like that. And I'm going to do all these at the same time. All right, so I'm just going to go through and top a couple of these off. Don't waste it. It's all light, it's all good for you. No reason to throw it away and waste it. I'm just gonna give them a nice pad, get all that cheese and goodies down in there. Don't want too much of it protruding. And then I'm going to put it into the wash, like so. Into the bran flakes. Onto the sheet. I'll make the last one really good. This will be for my hot day tonight. All right. Oh, yeah. Look at that. All right. Now, don't these look good? Oh, it's so good for you, too, and that's the best part. All right, so we got all those laid out. Now, what we're going to do is we're gonna put those in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. Now, if you like your jalapenos hot, put them in for 25. If you like them a little more mild like me, you're gonna to wanna to leave them in there for 30 minutes. Maybe a little longer until they're golden brown. That's how I like them. You do what you want. All right, now my favorite part. Only time in my life I've ever felt like a doctor. I'm gonna take off these gloves, toss these in the oven. All right, poppers are done. Oh, oh those look delicious. That's it, jalapeno showstoppers in the house. All right, 